battlefield. Uh, six points up for grabs for those of you who may be new to the franchise. Look at that tank. Look at it. It's just that incredible. Look. That is one of the, uh, the, uh, the heavy tanks that you're going to be seeing in play as well. Good shots, though, trying to lay down oh. with that pistol. Is he going to take him? Grenade going out. You can see the bolt action shots too, and also some of the variants that you, you're going to see a unique. Oh, Ooh. get some right in front, but that's going to be an assist. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Something that you're going to see today is all the different uh, weapons that are going to be available. The troops, and here we go. So this is the spawn system. You just swoop right into it, and you go right into the vehicle, like or wherever you decide to go. Was, it is so cool. That was just awesome to see. I mean, that kind of mechanic. I mean, the spawn screen is one of the most valuable things you can look at because you can really help change the way the battle's moving, and if you can see all that information in front of you is so much more helpful. And there are a variety of, uh, you know, items that you could use as well, gadgets that you, you'll see players use. I think we saw the uh, anti-vehicle grenade just a little while ago. Back over to the uh, spawn. It doesn't matter where it, like, there's no, like, pre-programmed, like, this is where this is going to fall. No, it falls anywhere. All those buildings down there are going to be this. destroyed. Just watch this. Oh, it's my incredible. goodness. This is crazy. No, why would you go there? <laughs> that is and insane. Not just that, but once it's hit the ground, its carcass stays there as well. So you have to battle it out, moving through all of this like metal that's just crashed into the ground. It's uh, it's a ruin at that point. That's quite quite exciting stuff. And then the rocket gun for the assault. Now we we haven't we seen have rocket gun be used it. just yet, but essentially what it is, it's it's a. It's exactly as it sounds. Yeah, it, it really is. It's a <laughs> rocket gun, but in order for you to fire it, you have to go prone. Or you can set it up behind cover, and then you can use it as a resting point, and then you fire it. Uh, it really does have some extreme power behind it as well. So if you can use it effectively, you've got the opportunity to do some serious damage. And then the last thing... The points that they want, trying to capture those objectives. Yeah, and also I just want to uh, highlight something too. So you guys may have noticed that you, you see a couple doors, uh, you know, oh, scattered yes. about. Um, and here's the good news. There's this really cool and a good revive there. Nice. Good nice work, to good see. Work. That was uh, going to be Matt there with that with that revive. So I just want to note one of the coolest things that uh, that they added in Battlefield One is the charge through a door. That's so you close the door. You interesting to see. Feels Batman. No, he's <laughs> typing it. Here feels it comes. Batman. Here it comes. Oh, that's great. And uh, one thing that I think we will mention about this airship is that it is uh, fully controllable by the player. Now, in the past, you might have noticed some of the bigger objects in the Battlefield games, uh, but this one is fully controllable by the player. So all that power, you can wow. take it wherever you like. But obviously, it's a huge object in the sky. It's not like it can turn around in a couple of seconds. So. If you want to go somewhere and look, look at, at that, that site, it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at all the background uh, imagery as well. Look how far you can see. You can really see like the battle beyond what you're playing is going on in there as well. That's actually pretty cool. That was a good shot. Way to go, production team. Good job. Good job. Uh, the, uh, the airship doesn't appear to have been damaged all that much. And again, it's the British Army that have got it. So oh, they, uh, no, they're, they're doing quite a bit of damage. As a matter of fact, you see those, those gondolas there, right? They actually uh, host mounted machine guns. Yeah. You can shoot that intense face right there. Yeah, oh, so intense. And here <laughs> oh. comes another bombing run in, in perspective from the plane first. But that looks fantastic, doesn't it? Look, you can see all the movement in front there by the propellers. That's absolutely incredible. That oh, 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 no. oh, he hit the tree. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he's quite got the power to get going again. No, he, no, doesn't. he didn't. He didn't. And it's just blown up. And there you go. have it, folks. The German Empire reigns supreme once again. See some rifle gameplay now. Just look at the scope. Look how beautiful the weapon looks. It's one of those things I like to play with a sniper rifle quite a lot. It's a real, like, it's a, it's a role where, like, if you get the kill, you feel like you really deserve it. And now when you look at those weapons, you think, wow, that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, the detail. <laughs> Talking about detail. Look at that explosion. And you see right there the, yep. the ground deformation that happened when that tank blew up. It, it sent, you know, obviously just shaped the ground underneath. Oh, no, Bayonet no. Charge. Oh, 